Welcome back everybody. In this video we are going to continue our SignalR adventure by creating our first hub. So a hub is just a C-sharp class. So to add a class to our project all you have to do is right click and click add and then class. Now you can name it whatever you like and you can see here as this .cs that means a C-sharp file. If you don't put that it will add it by itself so you can just put the name of it here. I'll just put my hub and click add. Now it just added it right here, right in the root of our project. If you want, you can put it in a folder or something like that, but this will do for now. If you remember from one of my older videos, I mentioned that in order to tell C Sharp that, hey, this is a hub, we have to inherit from hub. Now you can see when I put hub, it has a little red squiggly under it and it's not doing much. It doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> well, that's because of namespaces. So any class is always inside of a namespace. So if you remember back when we had the console, we went through here and we installed Microsoft.asp.net.signalr. Well, this is the namespace of that hub. So what we need to do is put colon Microsoft.asp.net dot signal r dot hub now that is quite the long uh, name there so because that can get kind of tedious there's an easier way to do this and what you can do is just take all of this stuff right here and take it up here and put it as a using statement so you can say using microsoft dot asp dot net dot signal r and then you don't have to qualify it. Qualifying means when you put the namespace before it or to tell it where it's from. So now we can just put hub. Great, that's all you really have to do to create your hub, but we're gonna go a little bit farther. Within this hub, we are going to create a method. So to create a method, just put public void, and then you put the name of the method, announce. Put two parentheses, open, close, and then put an open parentheses. You can see it'll automatically put the closing one. Press enter. It'll take them down to the next line. So now we have an announce method. And just to kind of go over this a little bit, public means it's, ac it's accessible to other classes. Void means it's not returning any data. As you can see, it's really not even doing anything. This is what's known as the identifier. It's the name of the method. And then the parentheses are where we put parameters. So if we need to send data to this method when we call it, that is where we would put that. So for example, we could say string announcement. And what that would require is when we go and call this method, we have to pass in an announcement, which we can then use inside of the method announcement. But for now, that's, that's uh, out of the scope of this video, so that's really all we really are going to talk about in this video. In the next video, we'll be talking about what we're going to put inside of here and how exactly the client is going to call this data. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.